In June 2015, my brother and I found out that my mother's uncle, who had passed away a few years before his wife, had left my brother and I his share of their estate. This includes their Brooklyn home, as well as any remaining funds after all others on the will have been paid, as well as debts and outstanding taxes. The estate is split three ways between myself, my brother, and the aunt's nephew. The estate attorneys have informed us that the entire estate is worth about 3 million USD. My brother and I each received an initial payout of 150,000 in July. The attorneys are waiting to pay taxes, debts, etc. to disperse any more funds. The estate attorneys accidentally sent our checks to our parents' house. And this is where things got bad. My parents currently owe the IRS about 1,300,000 USD. This is due to 10 years of fees, accumulating interest, and basically ignoring paying the IRS. My mother also spent two and a half years in prison for this case. Whether or not she is guilty, we can say for another day. In June 2016, my parents, who found out the value of our uncle's home, proposed a loan for my brother and I. My brother and I would pay their $1.3 million bill with the inheritance, and we would get the sum back when they are gone. How morbid, right? We said we would research our options, but reminded them that we would do everything we can moving forward to make sure they have a roof over their heads, basic needs, and if they want to travel into their retirement, we would cover that as well. Come July when the check showed up at their house, I drove down to their home to have a conversation with them about this with my brother on the phone. I had consulted an attorney and in sum his advice was, do not get involved in this with your family. If they take a loan, you will have to be ready to go as far as to repossess their home. If you give to the money, you will need to work with a team of attorneys and accountants to make sure you are covered, and even then, the money will be all gone. My parents came back with ideas like, well what if we just say it's a loan, which I quickly explained is not something I am interested in getting involved in. This turned into my dad speaking down to us, essentially in my face, screaming and rolling his eyes. My mother called me afterwards and told me that my dad was not going to hide his feelings about me after the incident for my wedding in September. And she distanced herself as well. They came to my wedding and things were about as awkward as expected. I could not get a hold of them before my wedding. They would not answer calls or return them. When they found out that I had said hello to my future and mother-in-law before them, it got much worse. I was all around very hurt. I was ready to put everything aside and get on with the wedding and I thought they would be excited for me. My husband and I paid for our entire wedding. And speaking with my mother afterwards, she was upset about X, Y, and Z. That she was a guest at her daughter's wedding, the photographer didn't get the picture she wanted, she never told me this until afterwards, and basically things didn't go the way she wanted. I was very hurt, but again, I was ready to move on. Now, I think her hurt may have been her putting her guilt on me. She acknowledged my father, her husband, owed me a few apologies at this point, and she was not willing to challenge him on that. After our honeymoon, my parents called to get to business. They had decided that they would take the 150,000 USD from each of us, 300,000 in total, and with the remaining balance on their debt, they would take a loan from the bank on properties they have, over 1 million USD worth. This would allow them to pay the IRS, and they would take the remaining inheritance when it came through. I was a bit taken aback as this went from a loan to this is the way it's going to go. This plan made me extremely uncomfortable. The attorneys are withholding that money for outstanding debts and taxes. Even if I was willing to give every dime to them after the way I have been treated, it's a huge risk. What if nothing else comes through, or nothing at all? I told him I wanted to consult an attorney, and he was again livid. Come October, they have taxes too. My mom calls my brother on a Monday morning and says she got an extension on her taxes from last year. She thought she was getting a refund but she owes them 8,000 USD. She needs the money now. We asked her how this happens, and she let us know we owe her money from this inheritance and we need to pay it. Worn out and feeling very sorry for them at this point, we both go to the bank and send her 4,000 USD. No thank you was received. Come the next week, we get a call from both of my parents. My dad starts the conversation with, This is going to be hard because we have always been proud of you. But we are no longer, and we may not be speaking much moving forward. Two hours later and nothing has changed. The last plan to get a loan from the bank was not approved for them. So now their idea is that my brother and I will take out a loan on the amount of the inheritance for their debt. We both explain once again that this is going to be a very high interest rate loan, research after the call looks to be about 15% plus, that my brother and I cannot risk bankruptcies for this plan if the money never did come through, and that if they sell their properties they will be out of debt with the IRS and we can help them with expenses afterwards. We are told essentially it should be their money and so anything else is our moral failing. We try to provide options for how this money can help all of us as a family, 
My brother and I put ourselves through school and have student loans we would like to pay off and still be able to help my parents without throwing away a large sum to essentially a payday loan. Again, my dad is livid and the conversation ends. We have not spoken since. At this point, I am strong enough to say no, I will not risk our future for a 500,000 USD plus loan on a sum of money that may or may not come through. I am hurt that they would propose that, understanding the desperate situation that they are in. And even more so, I am hurt that they would let this destroy our relationship. I know we will never be as close as we were, but my brother and my parents are my only family. I understand that my hands are tied, and I wish that they did too. To be honest, after the way that I have been treated, they could not even put their jealousy aside for my wedding. I am less and less inclined to help. That being said, the holidays are coming up and they are my parents. Do I reach out? What do I do? Do I let these holidays pass and hope that they will eventually see that they can pay their debts and my brother and I can help them if they need in the future? Every time we speak to my father, he tells us to reach out and understand how immoral we are being. So, here I am, asking for input. I tried to make this as impartial as possible, but it is hard. Update. My new husband, been dealing with this since before our wedding and married for three months now, are having dinner and his aunt asks if she can call us. My parents had gone to her and her husband, whom they had met once prior to our wedding, and apparently gave them a free hour rundown letting them know about the money and that they believed it was theirs. I am not sure what was said, but it was not speaking well of us. It sounds like they let them know that my brother and I inherited money, as if we had received as much as they want, the full sum, and that the money should go to my mother. It sounds like it was a long session, with words like disappointed and greedy being thrown around, ironic. His aunt was in tears and told us that we have to protect ourselves and that we cannot get involved in their financial or legal troubles. My parents' actions are inexcusable in my mind. There is no reason for them to do this but to intend harm to me and my new family. His aunt also informed us that my parents are driving to my husband's parents' house, eight hours away, to let them know what is going on as well. My husband and I had opted not to share my parents' troubles because we saw it as a pitiful, for lack of a better word, situation in the way that my parents have behaved and that we didn't need to share that weight with his family. His aunt said that she does not want to get involved but wanted to let us know what my parents had told her. My parents have taken it upon themselves to bring this bull into my new in-laws' lives. We called my husband's parents to give them a heads up of why my parents were going for a visit. I have not spoken with my parents for about two months now. Additionally, in the last post I discussed how my brother and I could still assist them without putting ourselves in jeopardy. After receiving this call and speaking with my brother, I feel so violated that I cannot imagine what I would possibly feel comfortable with them knowing about my life. My parents are not in a right mind any longer. Feeling a lot of emotions, but really not sure how we can ever move on from here with them. I have received little communication from them since 2016, other than an 11-page story written by my mother that was mailed to my home basically stating that I have an obligation to pay their debts, though the first sentence was paraphrased as, I think we need to try to fix our relationship, and the solution proposed was to acknowledge that I will pay their debts. My mother also writes stories online and used this platform to bully my brother and I. The stories were defamatory and easily proved so with court records. This resulted in consultation with an attorney in 2017 through 2018 and letting her know that a cease and desist would be issued if she did not stop. She deleted and or made private her online stories. At one point in 2018, my father told my brother that we owed him money for a car he rented to help us move out of college in 2013. It all went desperate, strained and all over the place very fast. For additional context on why I may have a strained relationship with my parents, I posted a while ago on the background of this. Over time, my brother has had some very low lows with them. He communicates with them through text and phone. He lives in a different state. While I have cut off communication with them, he will often get into huge arguments with them and then things seem to settle and they will try to have a relationship with each other again. He is graduating from graduate school later this month and while him and I had been planning this for a while, he let me know around the beginning of this year that he doesn't know if they will show up for his graduation. I was surprised that their relationship seemed to have developed to the point that they would even be invited. But it is his graduation. He has now let me know that it does sound like they are planning on flying out for his graduation. This has caused me a great deal of anxiety. I can see through public records that my parents still own four rental and commercial properties, live in the same home that they always have, and have every means to settle their debt if they choose to. The properties that they have are mismanaged, some sit vacant and carry large tax obligations that they do not seem to care about. 
My brother and I even paid their income taxes in October 2016, after they filed for an extension and claimed on the due date that they had a large bill instead of a refund and needed money that day. My mother has been out of prison for nearly six years now, and as far as I can tell, they have both made no effort since then to reconcile their debt, other than target my brother and I as their solution. My mother also has not worked since her case began around 2005. This is also relevant because my brother and I asked them to work on their debt before coming back to us, so this is extremely frustrating for me and clearly demonstrating that they have not changed. They also told us that they were going to lose everything if we did not help, which was very clearly not true. So initially my thought was, I am not ready to open that door just yet, but it is not my graduation. I have been asking my brother what the plans are and there are multiple family dinners etc. As the date approached, I continued to tell myself, it is his graduation and I am not attending to hash out anything with my parents. And I think I can maintain a cordial interaction with them. Now that it is this month, I am starting to feel anxiety and maybe a bit of anger as well. That it feels like they are being put back into my life before I am at all ready or willing. I absolutely know that it is his graduation and they are there because of his invitation. I have been telling myself that I will set structure and ground rules for myself and will leave the situation as needed. I have been more personally targeted throughout their anger towards us, including my parents making a scene leading up to and at my wedding, and having them go to my in-laws whom they had met just once to share their financial misfortune and my apparent moral failures. I do think some of my anxiety comes from their previous actions directed at me, during big events in my life, like a graduation, that they gave real disregard for. So, as I plan for this trip, any advice? My husband will be with me and he is very supportive and non-confrontational so I feel I will have some support. I don't trust them to be on their best behavior at this event, though everything may go smoothly. My father is extremely confrontational and really doesn't seem to care who is around or what the event is. And finally, what in the world do you talk to your parents about when they have been going after you for money for four years? Feeling like literally anything can be used against me or cause tension somehow. I have briefly told my brother that this is causing me anxiety and continue to ask him for information about the event. What else can I do to keep from letting all this jock back into my life for this event? It weighed heavily on me mentally and emotionally for years, and I feel like I have reached a point where I am content with the decisions that I have made, and can move forward with a happy life. I just figured that one day, when their debts are settled, maybe we could open that door again. But it seems it will happen much sooner, even just for a week. <sighs> I'm 26, female, and I have known I was adopted since I was 3 years old. I don't know what kind of adoption I was, open or closed, but I know that my biological parents signed their rights for me away shortly after my birth. I was in the foster system from 5 days old until 3. This is because I was hard to place. I was born with an atrial septal defect ASD. I developed complications due to the condition, which needed surgical intervention. I eventually was adopted by an NICU pediatric nurse, my mom, and was raised in a loving, caring home. When I was 18, I was contacted via letter by some woman named Claire that she wished to speak to me. I didn't respond, because I didn't want to, and because I was having another heart surgery. I had loving grandparents, who were older and passed when I was 20, but then life threw me another tragedy and my mom passed when I was 22, after an intense fight with cancer. She had been in remission. I was heartbroken, but I went to therapy from 22 till now, to handle my grief. I didn't even think of Claire again until I received a legal letter. The letter basically detailed that Claire was my older sister via a biological father and she had spent some decent money to track me down. The letter detailed that she had done some serious work to discover what happened to me. Basically, my biological father and biological mother were both married and had an affair. I was the byproduct of it, and when the other spouses had found out, there was a serious conflict. My biological parents signed away their rights after I was born to save their marriages. I was my biological mother's first child, and my biological father's fourth. Basically, Claire discovered this secret when she went through her father's records and found a single photo of me, plus my birth certificate. He denied my existence and Claire spent a good chunk of a few years looking into it. My biological mother's family was surprised at finding out I existed. They shamed their mother, who gave up my information almost immediately. So basically I had seven siblings reaching out to find out more about me. I didn't really respond to her letter and instead talked to my aunt, my adoptive mom's sister, who told me that I should proceed with caution. She works in social services, so I valued her opinion. I opted to tell Claire that I had no reason to want to speak to her or the other siblings, but would appreciate a medical history. 
She since reached out via the Book of Faces and has tried friending me. She sent me messages and letters including family photos unsolicited to my house. I finally had enough and reached out six months ago to tell her I had no interest, and I really don't. I feel kinda grossed out. I was placed for adoption simply for my existence and don't feel good communicating with her. Claire blew up and is sending me messages saying that the family wants to know about me. They've moved on from the infidelity and the affair. She said that the entire family wants to embrace you. Bio mom is ill and wants to make up for lost time. I told her I didn't want any communication, especially since she called her your mother when I very plainly explained I already had a family and I don't feel like I should be anyone's source of closure. I don't know how to navigate this, but I know after thinking about it that I don't want any communication or to meet these people. Edit. Since this is apparently important, Claire is the only one mentioning my biological mother is sick. Everyone else is sending me messages berating me for not responding to Claire and telling me that they want me to talk to them. Some are also admonishing me for being rude to Claire. There's no sign of her being ill on any social media, and my request for more information on her illness, which I sent a week ago, hasn't been answered. Update. My aunt put me into contact with a lawyer that she knows through the system. He's begun looking into my adoption, which was closed, according to my father, and to see about creating a paper trail for harassment. The messages keep coming, and I even opened my P.O. box today to discover a package plus a few letters, all from Claire. I promptly wrote return to sender on everything and dropped it off at the post office. My message asking for explanation on a medical history and notice from Claire about this so-called illness were completely ignored. I'm floored at the amount of responses I've received here and I feel a lot better about putting these people as far away from me as possible. I promise I'm reading every comment but I have a project deadline today. Luckily I'm in a different country and the only mailing address they have is my post office box. Hopefully it comes back that my adoption was closed and I can send them some sort of cease and desist through the adoption agency, who is contacting me on Monday.